So today I'm talking about a P0190 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0190 code? Well, it's a fuel rail pressure sensor, a circuit. And what does this mean? Well, there's a sensor attached to the fuel rail that basically just monitors the fuel pressure and reports this information back to the computer. And when you get a P0190 code, the sensor's voltage that it's reporting back to the computer is gone outside the range that it's supposed to be in. And so the computer's seeing some kind of issue with it. And so it's got to be troubleshooting a why. So what are some possible causes of a P0190 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that fuel rail pressure sensor's just gone bad and it just needs to be replaced. You can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing these. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad fuel rail pressure sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the fuel rail pressure sensor. If there's any kind of issue inside the wiring, like an open, short, there's some kind of bad connection going on, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. The wiring is going to be different depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this. So you will need to get a schematic for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on inside the wiring. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring going to the fuel rail pressure sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the fuel system, that there's low fuel pressure or something like this. And this is going to be caused by one of the components inside the fuel system, like a bad fuel pressure regulator or a weak fuel pump or a clogged up fuel filter or something like that. And so while you can go through and test each one of these components, there is a quick method to check to see if there is a fuel system problem by basically using a fuel pressure gauge and checking to see what the fuel pressure is. And basically to use one of these, you attach it to the fuel rail. There's usually a test port that you can attach to. It could vary depending on the vehicle, but there's usually a fuel pressure test port up on top of the fuel rail that you can attach a fuel pressure gauge to. And then what you do is you start up the engine and you check to see what the fuel pressure is. It can vary from vehicle to vehicle what the fuel pressure is supposed to be rated to be running at. So you will need to look up what your vehicle's fuel pressure is rated to be running at. So for example, say your vehicle is rated to be running at 55 PSI, but for some reason it's running at like 40 or something like that, then you're gonna know you got low fuel pressure for some reason and you have to go through and check all those components that are related to that. And this would be something along the lines of like a weak fuel pump, a clogged up fuel filter, or a bad fuel pressure regulator, or something along these lines. But the last thing on the list is gonna be that there's some kind of fuel system problem and the fuel pressure is weak. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0190 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.